before I was so rudely interrupted. This gentleman right here has got himself a little magnifying glass with a light and what he's doing is he's reading the spark plug. He, like most other mechanics, realizes that your motor will tell you what's wrong with it if you know what to look for. Now, in order to really get a good bead on how well your plug is doing, you have to do something called the plug chop. And this is what it is. You want to have some extended high speed riding with your motorcycle right here. Suppose you're going down a, a, a straightaway, okay, and you're riding it just, you know, three quarters all the way all, all the way balls out. Then what you want to do is you do not slow down, you do not idle it, you do not do any of that. At the peak of where your riding style is, you hit that kill switch or you chop the plug off. And what that will do is when you hit that kill switch, that will give you an, a static picture of exactly what this spark plug looks like right here. At the moment that it was cut off. Now there are many books and everything on the web that you can look at, but the thing is this can tell you a lot about your bike if you look at it. If there's pitting, like here there's a lot of black on here. That could mean a couple of things. One, that I have way too much oil in the plug. But this oil looks a little bit shiny, so this tells me I got way too damn much antifreeze in the cylinder from the last time. So what we need to do is in order for these plugs to work even better than stock is to know how they work with this electrode and this other electrode where the explosion happens. At low speeds a wider gap will not hurt because you will get a, a wider spark arc and you'll get a better combustion so the so the book says